Hello everyone. So welcome to this new video. In this video, I'll be covering the DFT part dash part and the document type part. So here uh, you can see the DFT uh, IDP interface where we have report section. Here we have patches section. We can see the batches and here in documents we can see what all documents are there. Pages section we can see uh, how many pages are there uh, in a particular document which we loaded during our test runs. Admin panel and user section we have all the users. User group we have all the user group the role assigned. Uh, in batch type we have what kind of batch types in document type we have all the document types uh, dfd is document form definition uh, configuration is uh, input ocr which class verify data verify skip verify modules we will be talking about this later in a, a detail section uh, classification models we have uh, where we add uh, multiple classification models and classify them Going on to the DFD part, uh, we'll create a DFD and I'll show you the invoice uh, where we have to extract the data. First, we go to the DFD. The DFD name is DFD4 Review, where we have seven fields. The first one is the invoice number. Here we have the format of the invoice number is invoice number. So we have many formats like money, text, uh, invoice number, date. So invoice date is type date, your number is type text, invoice total is type money, so two is text, our uh, vendor name is text, and the portal name is text. So the vendor name and the portal name. The default values now coming on to flags flags has different values like assignable that means it, these can be later assigned selectable is will select it from drop down checkable is true false the required is the value is uh, required so we have many options in here in the flag section and we'll be discussing about each of the option in detail in our new videos Similarly, for ship two, uh, we have assignable and multi line. Since ship two is available in multi line, so our ship two will be coming in the multi line. Now, format expression talking about format expression here, we write the regex value like this is for PO number. So we have defined it slash D10, that means 10 digits must be there and we'll be checking it uh, by clicking on the preview button so if i type 1 2 3 4 it is incorrect and when i type 10 digits it will be marked as green if i type one more digit it will be marked as red so this is how the regex check works in the dft Now talking about the dependent items, uh, like if my invoice number will be dependent on PO number, I'll be selecting PO number. So my invoice number value will be right from PO number and I have to apply some formula in the formula column. So uh, this is how the dependent item works. One check is there that with assignable we have to do calculable uh, where we have the dependent item. This is how the uh, dependent item works in the decipher. Yeah. And now moving forward as I told you that default value are for the fuel in Canada for two options. Uh, sample headers, what sample headers we have the exclude value so if you want to exclude some values from the for decipher to pick you can include it in this values miscellaneous parameter we'll be talking about this in detail they are very detailed section 
Now moving on to the admin panel. So we have created the DFD. Moving on to the document type. We'll click create document type and enter the type name. You can enter any name. Uh, then the, we'll select document form definition from the drop down which we have created. Description can enter any description the classification confidence threshold is actually the accuracy which you define like 100% accuracy or 95% accuracy so we can define any accuracy on which decipher will go the recognition language is if your document is in English and Spanish so we can select the primary languages in English and for which country English and then Spanish which country Spanish and that's it we'll click create document type okay we have we'll rename it now we'll go to the bash type uh, to create bash type, bash type is basically nothing but uh, we give name in the blue prism decipher process that in which batch we have to push the process and this we have to select which a document form definition and document type the batch will go so we can select multiple Uh, document types in bash type we have many options in bash type or uh, on which we will be talking about later for uh, this we'll save it for this now then again we'll go to the document type to turn on the machine learning we'll turn on the machine learning module and we'll create a new ml model for the for review and select it from the drop down we also have a train model if we click on automatic it will take around 1000 document to train it again but for, for this we will take 50 documents since we have a lesser number of volume and we will click update document type now uh, to run it from the we will copy the bash type Thank you.